for me it's always been about you know being very right and proper about the research uh, the series writing obviously is a longer process yeah. it, it it almost amounts to three films rolled in one series right so that becomes more tedious very simple if they are telling you that we'll make a season 2 that means it is working <laughs> <laughs> it's a sequel in true sense bigger and hopefully yes yeah. bigger and better bigger and better yeah. yes they enjoy it when when people from one franchise they cross cross and yeah. stuff like that happen so it's an exciting no no if it gets made it will be made with akshay only okay uh, no one else Hi guys this is Himesh and welcome to Pink Villa. Today we have with us Neeraj Pandey. Welcome to Pink Villa thank sir. It's so lovely much. having you here. Thank you. Thank you. So my first question to you is I don't think anyone has been as consistent as you are when it comes to delivering good content. 2008 to 2024 16 hmm. years. How do you do it time and again? I frankly speaking don't have an idea about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, maybe it, it's Uh, blessed with this uh, great team that has been a part of this long journey now yeah. now you're pointing out it's 16 years it seems <laughs> quite long yeah so yeah it's been uh, uh more or less uh, a team that has stuck with me for they've tolerated me <laughs> been patient with me and uh, been a part of this creative journey yeah. it will be foolish to assume that you know you're doing it on your own right uh, cinema is not about that Uh, content creation is not about that it's it's always involving more than 100 people at any given yeah. point of time so <clears throat> i believe that it's uh, i owe it to the team yeah correct but so you know what are the challenges of creating content against the backdrop of indian intelligence agency you have made baby naam shabana special ops mm. freelancer which is quite a lot of even ir in, in that sense mm. so what are the challenges of making content in this space it has to be well researched uh, uh, more than a challenge that's a responsibility actually uh, uh, and uh, if you've got a great story if you've got a good story then i think that sorts itself out but uh, more than the challenges i would owe it to the responsibility you know that it, it depends also on the tone that you want to adopt for your particular story to each yeah. his own uh, for me it's always been about you know being very right and proper about the research which has been the most challenging for you to write in all that you have made in terms of all of them have been fun actually uh, uh, i mean they have been part challenge and part fun uh, maybe equal measures yeah. uh, the uh, the series writing obviously is a longer process yeah. it, it it almost amounts to three films rolled in one series right so that becomes more tedious yeah. so to speak but yeah it's it's great fun the format allows you to do something that you'll never be able to do on film right yeah. so uh, that takes care of that uh, tediousness in that manner yeah right but so you know when you made your digital debut with special ops it became the talk of the town like i think it was the most watched show of the year across platforms from then till now you have made special ops 1.5 and uh, freelancer how do you view this journey on digital medium we've done khaki we've done oh, lots of yeah, other I mean, stuff I, as I well i was but keeping yeah. it to uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so i mean uh, it's been uh, very eventful and uh, we've learned a lot on the way and we are still learning uh, because the world is changing so rapidly uh, i mean uh, you see a lot of storytellers now coming with their own vocabulary so you've got to be cognizant about that as well right. as to what's going around who's doing what yeah. uh, and not to sort of be in a uh, uh, in a situation where you know something has already been done better yeah by the time you you are coming out with your own story you know so tapping into the right kind of stories which uh, will survive that whole production phase <laughs> and still be ahead of the curve yeah. that becomes quite a challenge, challenge. but so you know when when it comes to theatrical medium you have a certain way of measuring success that's the box office number how do you measure your success on on ott like what is it that you follow as a creator producer everything very simple if they are telling you that we'll make a season 2 that means it is working <laughs> <laughs> if they don't tell you that yeah. that means it hasn't okay yeah it's, it's as simple. simple as that yeah. <laughs> but uh, nah jokes apart uh, I, i i think it's uh, it's a combination of uh, uh i mean you get to know that the show is loved i mean you yeah. can't you're not living in a cave right so yeah. when a show has done well it, it generates a, a response and uh, 
a season two or a following season becomes a byproduct of that response. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what it is. So I love freelancer, but I have one complaint. I want to Please. know your perspective on that. Mm. The drop. N- no, not the drop. The gap between the two seasons. That's the, what. Yeah, the, the drop. Yeah. yeah. What's the idea of that? Because I was rooting for the character, and it's like watching half the film and. Interval pe bol rahe ho ke chhe saal baad, uh, chhe mahine baad dusra part hmm. dekhne. What what's your take on that? It was a call that uh, was taken by internally by our team members from Hotstar. Yeah. Uh, it it it's also laced with a bit of a commercial take on okay. that because uh, these are very expensive shows. Yeah. And uh, how how do we sort of engage with the audience in order to monetize yeah. it? That's a responsibility that they have. And um, it's a chat that uh, we had with Gaurav and team, and uh, both the teams were on the same page on that. That in order to make these shows, we have got to monetize it in a certain way. Okay. And hence, it was a decision. As much as you may not like it, or yeah. uh, personally, I also don't like it because it was not made that way. Yeah. The show was. Uh, It's so gripping, yeah. and then suddenly it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we are waking up to that, and we are trying to address that situation. Hopefully, we'll be able to address that. Yeah. And so you know, when I look at your directorials, say something like an ARE, which is so complex. Do you think the world that you tried to create in ARE, with OTT, you would have got more wings to explore all the backstories, and it would have come together brilliantly? Could be. Could be because uh, uh, it, it's it's a far more complex story, like yeah. you said, and uh, uh, the narrative need not be rushed in that format. You could yeah. have more time uh, in a in a different format. So what's happening with Special Ops Two? It's uh, in post right now. We are uh, going to be completing the post in the next three or four months. It, the shoot is complete. It's yeah. been shot all over the world. So right from Budapest to Turkey to Georgia, three places. Yeah. The place it's yeah. So it's a sequel in true sense, bigger and hopefully yes, yeah. bigger and better. Bigger and better. Yeah. Yes. And so you know, I think Special Ops came in 2020. That was. Yeah, yeah, the first season. First season, yeah. It has been four year. What took you so long to write the film, uh, write the series? We came out with a one point five in between. Yeah, uh, that was I think in twenty twenty two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think twenty two. Uh, yeah. So and uh, we are now coming out in twenty four. So it's not too much two of a years. gap, is it? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. quite okay. But when you're writing in in the last four years, there is so much which has happened in the spy space, uh, spy space. So when you're writing. Does it happen with you that you have th- uh, thought of a subplot and then you see it somewhere and you are like, oh, we need to revisit it because yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff happens all the time. Yeah, the, and uh, you you need to course correct uh, yeah. uh, at times and uh, make sure that you know it doesn't. So, if there are twenty people working in the same genre or same milieu, yeah. chances are that the wires will cross. So yeah. you have to take care of it. But what's your take on the rise of spy films? You made it before anyone else. That is in Baby, hmm. and which is, I think, the best film in the Thank spy you. space Thank when you. it comes to authenticity and the way the subject was treated. Thank you. So, what's your take on the spy genre, which has grown? I'm over enjoying there? it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it as, as the audiences are enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, do you read the conversation where people are saying that there's so much of spy happening these days? No, I don't follow. I'm not on social. I don't yeah. follow any conversations. Yeah. Okay, and so you know, uh, next up for you in terms of directorial is a film with Ajay Sir Aurobindo. Right. Right. What can we expect over there? That's your return to cinema halls after so long, and someone like me who is your fan has been waiting for Thank you, you on the big Thank screen you. since. It's a musical love story. It yeah, comes out in June, and uh, I mean, uh, that's what I can share at this moment. Yeah. Uh, Very soon we'll have a teaser and a trailer coming out announcing the date of the release. Wow, that's yeah. exciting! And so, what's your take on universes? You tried with Baby, Baby and Nam Shabana. Hmm. So, what's your take on? It's good. It's exciting for consumers and uh, audiences. I mean, they uh, they enjoy it when when people from one franchise they crisscross and yeah. stuff like that happens. So, it's an exciting format. And uh, as long as the makers are convinced about it and uh, the audiences are enjoying it, it will exist. Does that excite you as a director? Not anymore. Not anymore. It's it's okay. I mean, a lot of it being is being done. Yeah. Okay. And uh, lastly, you know, last time when I interviewed, a lot of Akshay Kumar fans were upset on me that I didn't ask you this. Do you plan? They all want you to work with him. Do you plan to? Can that happen anytime? Do you plan? Are there anything? 
nothing at the moment but why not i mean uh, something that uh, i mean uh, as when the right time comes we'll do that okay. yeah. and crack is out of mm-hmm. your mind or will you make it some day with someone no no if it gets made it will be made with akshay only okay uh, no one else okay because that yeah. poster is still in my mind specs thank you. on the mm-hmm. this thing thank so you. hopefully some day mm-hmm. and lastly sir can we see how how do you plan uh, your journey ahead as a director how do you plan to balance between the two mediums that you are juggling plus creating so many content as a producer like what's your take on this nothing i mean the exciting times i mean the uh, it it allows you to explore a story in different formats and uh, it's it's a huge blessing uh, i feel that otherwise you are stuck with one format and then you're waiting for 2 years to deliver a particular film and all that but now with the advent of ott at least you you can uh, you know explore different stories at the yeah. same time so uh, i count myself blessed on this yeah right like, but you would be doing both going forward as absolutely well. yeah. absolutely yeah. yeah either ways and special ops the journey will continue ahead as well after two i don't know let let two come out uh, we'll have a feedback from you people and yeah. on that and uh, if the audience is encourages to Uh, make another one why not correct and freelancer is that the end of journey or you are planning something we are thinking something yeah yeah thinking wow so that's again another uni- i would call it a universe because they are all looking yeah. in that one mm-hmm. genre so mm. <laughs> and on the same platform so you never know yeah <laughs> perfect on that note thank you so much thank you thank you thank you miss thank you